person that's currently speaking creations. We have a confession to make. We have not done a video in too long. We we haven't done it in what a month. It's Hello been, everybody. It's, just, it's too bad. Welcome we back to Cody's to Cooking Creations. We're really sorry we've been so long. Um, it's been weeks since we've seen you, but thank you so much for for dropping in today. And Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get into it. Yeah, and today we're going to make paella. So paella. we call it, so we say pa paella paella. And the paella. Yeah. So the Spanish say paella. So paella. the two L's are like a J. Okay. So we're going to do a little bit of seafood, some chorizo, and we're going to do some chicken today. So you can put whatever you want to into it. Really, it's got to have chorizo, chicken, and the seafood. But you can just have the seafood. You can just have vegetables. You can just have the chicken if you want to. And you can add really whatever you want. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the ingredients to start with with you. Okay, and this is what I've done, as you, as you probably can see. Um, we've got some peas, just frozen peas or tin peas. We've got some chopped up red pepper, some chopped up green pepper, some red onion. You can use white onion if you want. I've put they some can't, they can't see mushrooms. Them. They can't see them. There we go, mushrooms. And some chorizo. And the sausage. Chop, chopped up, okay. Is this a sausage? That's the chorizo. Oh, that's the chorizo. Right, okay. And then what I like to do is I like to decorate mine with some boiled eggs. Eggs. Um, we need some olive oil. Olive oil, lovely. Uh, you need some saffron. Saffron, lovely. Do you know where saffron comes from, Louis? It saffron. It comes Please. from a, no, it comes from a flower. It comes yeah. from a crocus flower, and okay. it's the st stamen. Is it called st stigma? Stamen. Stigma. Uh, the, it's called it's the stigma. quite expensive, but you only need a little bit. You can find that in most supermarkets now. Okay, then we need a little bit of stock. So we've got a little bit of stock here. I put a, one one chicken stock cube and one veg stock cube. And then you need some chicken breasts. Do you want to go and get the prawns out of the oh. fridge for me? Chicken breasts. I use thighs because they're a lot more juicy. Um, if you use breast, it does go a little bit dry. Um, I like a little bit of white wine in mine. Um, I've brought some paella, paella rice today. But if you wanted to, you could just use normal rice. Um, we've got some prawns, which have already been cooked. Um, so all we're going to do, these are king prawns. We're just going to pop them in. You can use mussels if you want, or squid. Or as anything. I said, anything you like. Salmon? So first of can all... Not really salmon flakes a little bit, so uh, it's more of a seafood mix, Paella. Seafood. Salmon so in seafood. here now we've got some garlic which we've chopped up, and I have cooked some chicken. Oh, oh sorry, my. I've cooked some chicken thighs already. Almost um, terribly wrong. So there, yeah, but it didn't. So they're there, and I've just taken the juice and put them into the pan with some nice chopped garlic. Like I said before, you can lose lazy garlic; you don't have to chop it yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to wash Wait. my hands now. Oh, but yeah, you should wash your hands before this. Yep, okay, so we're just going to do that. Yeah, I've got to wash them too. Yeah, you wash yours too. And then we're going to get this up nice and high and get some, some frying done. So first of all, we want to fry off our breasts or our, um, sorry, our thighs. Okay, pop them in and we'll get them fried off. And we want to get them nice and brown, sizzling away. So, um, to get a nice colour on them, pop them up a little bit and they'll be sizzling away. And really you want to get them like that. So, I don't know if you can see, there's a nice bit of colour on those thighs. Okay. And then once we've done that, then we're going to pop some chorizo in. Yeah. So, I'll just leave those now. Take them over here. Uh, I've got my paella pan. You don't need a paella pan. You can just use a, a big frying pan or something which has got quite a heavy base. We've got a paella pan, lucky enough. So what we're going to do now is going to pop some onions in there. We've got the garlic in there. Onions and some mushrooms. Make sure it doesn't, you know, yeah. get you with a spit. Yeah, you want to stand, stand well away then, Louis, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Here we go, put our chorizo in. Our chorizo will give it a nice bit of colour. Yeah, pop that in. There we go. Okay. This should take you really about 25, 30 minutes to make. It might take a little bit longer, depending really. It's a nice meal. It's an all-in-one pan again, so it's lovely. Not, not much washing up. A little bit of prep to start with. Yeah. 
Okay, so now we're getting that nice and brown dark and you'll see some oil will start coming out of the uh, chorizo, which gives it a nice red colour, which is lovely, yeah? Right, so we've got that nice and high, that's lovely. So we're going to add our, um, add our peppers in now. Both peppers going in. Give those a little stir up. Give them a little, I'll give them a little stir if you want, Lou. So what about the salt? You get the salt grinder, don't get the salt grinder. Give it a little bit of salt. Okay. A little bit of salt going on. It's a lovely colour. You'll see that. There we go. Keep it on quite high. And then what you want to do, give it a little bit of salt. Yeah, just a little bit, not too much. That's it. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Yeah. Grind it in. Nice bit of seasoning. And then we're going to add our rice. Like I said, I've got a proper paella rice. That's enough, Liz. Got a proper paella rice. But you don't need the paella rice. You can just use normal rice if you want to. Okay, so we're just sprinkling that in now. We're going to give it a little fry off. Okay, so okay. Give, yeah, give it a little go round. That's it. And then we're going to add a little bit of white wine to it. Okay, just oh. go steady. Right, there we are. That will sizzle a little bit. Sizzle on the twizzle. twizzle. There you go. But now I can't eat. Sizzle and twizzle. You can because we're gonna get we're gonna get rid of the white wine now. Okay. Just cook the white wine off, okay? Yeah, just cook it just off. Just cook the alcohol off. So turn it up again and get it sizzling. So it has gone a little bit quiet now because it stopped sizzling. There we go. So keep stirring, give it a good stir round. Wait, so we have to cook this? Yeah, we've just gotta cook it, but that's In okay. No, 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 just cook it on the top. Okay. Yeah. In Spain, when they have the fiestas, they have massive, really, really big ones, and the whole the whole families <laughs> enjoy it, and all the village get involved. Okay, not too excited, please. Just that bit. Right there we go. We're going to add our chicken chicken thighs now. We've already cooked those, so they're going to go in. Yeah. Okay. I'll be uh, wait. Yeah, if uh, beforehand when you're cooking them. But um, remember to always wash your hands when you're hunting and warming. Yeah, definitely. Before you cook them. Right, stick that in now. It's, it's basically them. an all-in-one thing. So we've got that nice and hot now. So we've given the rice a nice little stir through. And what we're going to do now is we're going to put the put the heat down now, and we're going to add our um, add our stock. Okay. And there we are. We'll add our peas as well now. And um, there we go. Add a few peas, and it's a lovely. I don't know if you can see the colours, but they are really, really pretty. We've got the we've got the red, we've got the green. It's a bit like the Italian flag, really. They can kind of so. see it because our camera films a bit in Good. white. Yeah. So let's do a little bit of peas. Pop the peas in as got well. Peas, got the peas, pop the peas. Yeah. Okay. And then towards the end, really, you want to put your seafood in. You don't need the seafood in for too long. Because basically it goes rubbery if you put it in for too long. So there we are. So we've got our peas in. And that was all quite easy. Let's have a little go now, then. Let's turn them up a little bit. There we are. So this is a, a lovely, a lovely dish to have if you've got friends coming round and you can all delve in and share a nice glass of wine or a glass of rose. Or even some lagers are nice with this. Or if you're not drinking. Can have some nice um, elderflower cordial that, oh. we, that we made, can't you? Yeah, that we made. Yeah. We still have that now. Yeah, yeah, we still got that. Yeah. Oh, we still got a bit of it. We can have that with our soda, or we can have that with tonic, which is always very nice. I didn't know we still okay, had now that. we're going to put a little bit of saffron in. I thought we'd uh, drank whatever we called it. We haven't drank it. We haven't drank it all yet. Okay. Can add a little bit of saffron. I have to be careful with this, Louis, because it's really quite expensive. Is it? So we don't want too much. Just a few strands, and that gives it a really, really nice colour. So I hope you've been keeping well in COVID, and I hope uh, everyone's staying safe. And as we said earlier, we're so sorry we haven't made any videos for a while. Um, we've been quite busy, Louis, haven't we? Yeah. We have got a guest coming for the next video. So we're going to make a Thai vegetarian curry. Um, so we've got a guest person coming in. 
and she's going to show us all. She's going to give us all the ingredients, and we're going to make the curry, aren't we, now? We're going to make. Oh, don't give them too many spoilers. Yeah, well, they'll be getting ready for that. It's a nice vegetarian dish next. Yeah, sit down, uh, grab your popcorn, get in your nice <laughs> salad chair if you have one. Well, that would be nice. Get your shorts on and have a relax by the pool watch our videos there we go and then, subscribe so, and like so all we're doing now i don't know if you can see is we're just letting that bubble as you can see and then once once the rice starts to absorb all the liquids towards the end we'll add our prawns in okay so i think we'll switch off now and then we'll we'll rejoin you in about 10 minutes once this is bubbled and we'll show you the, the um, end effect Okay, see you in a minute.